Madden back with you here on the All Access Post Game Show after Stevenson Falls 11-7 to Montclair State. Joined now by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, we got a lot to cover. Um, it was a weird, weird day, yes. um, and so I guess let's start with that. Okay. Um, a lot of stuff happening, particularly in the first half. Um, some of it self-inflicted. Obviously, the you know the call on Hannah and sure. yeah, Mac out of the goal, stuff like that, and then some other stuff that we couldn't possibly explain. Is there right. any additional explanation you can give us? Uh, well, I think that um, the officiating crew had a little bit different view uh, today than I think we typically see. Um, they, you know, we had some real discrepancies with what, how much time should be on the clock for each foul. I had to take the rule book in at a we time. Noticed that at one yeah, point. Um, that. You know, so, and and to, you know, to be fair, it was equal for both teams. Um, in the way that it was called, which was an unusual, we'll just say it was unusual. Okay. So, um, so w both teams had to adjust, and, and I think Montclair adjusted better than we did, and we just kept trying to play the way that we normally play, and, and things, you know, weren't going our way, and I think it frustrated us instead of maybe trying to elevate us to do some different things. The thing that I thought was really positive in your game today was your defensive unit. Yes. What a what a great team effort! It sh it sure was, and 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 again, when you know we have the, this is the second or third game, uh, second game out of four, that we are playing too much defense. We can't expect these girls to uh, play for 45 of the 60 minutes, uh, play defense and consistently get the attack the ball, get the attack the ball, get the attack the ball, and then have the attack throw it away in the first 10 seconds. So we've addressed it. We addressed it at uh, the after Gettysburg. We addressed it after. Salisbury um, and until the attack really that's that message sinks in it's going to be a tough season but what it will do is make our defense better and better and in great shape they'll be in great <laughs> shape um, so you know so uh, you know I was talking to a player on the way up here and I was just saying you just got to stay positive back there you're doing great things I mean we're a man down we're two men down for the crazy officials call on that two men down and we hold them uh, we're we are um, playing defense for all that time, we're we're tr you know trying to get the ball back. We get the ball back three times in the last four or five minutes of the game to give our attack an opportunity to catch up and tie the game, and our attack did not respond again. Um, so I think we just we need the message to all attackers, and I hope they're all listening right now. You got to work harder, and until they work as hard as the defense works, we will not win the games we should win. The other thing that jumped out, two for ten on the free position. And that, you know, uh, uh, however, the weird part being you were one for eight in the first half and yet had a 4-3 lead at halftime. <laughs> um, but it sort of gives you the what could have been if a few of those had gone the right sure. way and, and it's been a struggle all season. What's going on with the free position? We, we've tried a lot of different things. We just, we don't have the confidence in the free positions. And, and that's what it appears to me. We don't have a quick first step. Our, our attackers do not have a quick first step. And because of that, they're, you know, getting jammed up and they're getting their defense is getting a stick on stick on them so at this point in the season you know was, as far as our training goes we'll continue to look at that and we're, we're doing some things in practice like I said that should help that but they've got to get on their own and they've got to grab a bag of balls and they have got to get out there and bury 20 30 a day and until they do that we're going to continue to go we practice them every day every single day and they have no problem making them on a fairly regular occasion in in practice but they freeze up and they're not quick off the line and 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 so we're, we're going to look to improve that over these next couple weeks. Even though there's a little inconsistent consistency in their play today, I think your freshman class is so fun is to watch, aren't they? So fun to yes. watch, and they're outstanding, and their potential is yeah. amazing. It is, and it and it really just showcases who I think we're going to be down the line. I want to be, I want that energy to be contagious, right now for the two seven 2017 team, um, and I do appreciate you being good cop. I just want to tell you that. <laughs> I'm so I'm like so it. I'm so <laughs> mad at Glenn right now. I'm so <laughs> mad at Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair because I used to. <laughs> the, the, the next question is about turnovers. It's coming from Glenn. Um, so, you know, in, in all seriousness, MC and Glenn both, um, I couldn't be more proud of how hard they're playing. I don't ever want to see that end. And and the person we're bringing in in a few a few seconds here is, is the leader of that group. And um, she's the one they, they all model themselves after this player. And uh, without her, I'm not sure they would 
would have been able to consistently maintain this energy level but this energy level um, stays nice and high with them because they've got a great leader in Jamie Bittner. We call her Miss Do Everything. Before we get yes. to her, a uh, quick turnaround before Washington College on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. What needs to change? Uh, all things attack. And, um, you know, we, you know we, we took more shots than Montclair. We uh, had a zillion more draws than Montclair. We've got to capitalize on our possessions. So we're going to talk about how we want to spend time with the ball and, and how to get defensive break again and see if we can't get it through to our attack to uh, run some more, some more plays that, they're, that we've been designing. We're going to so force MC to be bad cop on Wednesday night. Bad cop on Wednesday. <laughs> Coach, no. appreciate it. Thank Thanks. Thank you very much.